money. Don't let nothing get y'all down today, okay? Make the money. Don't let it make you, okay? Accomplish the goals. Don't let it defeat you, honey. Today is the day to make whatever you've been working on shake, okay? I'm going to have me an amazing day, and I really hope that y'all do too. It has been hell because my daughter doesn't deserve any of this. It has been hell to wake up every day and not hear her voice. It has been hell hearing my son and my six-year-old cry. Not even able to get through a song of hers. This is the story of 27-year-old Charity Huntley, a talented singer, dancer, and model from Jacksonville, Florida, who went by the name Charity Lanique. She was a rising star in the local music scene, her captivating voice and unique style earning her a loyal fan base. However, her life took a tragic turn when she became involved with a 42-year-old man by the name of George Sapp, an individual with a sketchy past. One fateful night, George would drop Charity's deceased body off at the hospital, devastating her fans and loved ones. The investigation into her death would reveal shocking details and have everyone asking, what really happened to Charity Lanique? Welcome to Viral Crimes. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. This story takes us to Jacksonville, Florida, a vibrant city known for its beautiful beaches and vibrant nightlife. Charity Lanique, also known as Charity Huntley, was a 27-year-old artist with a passion for music and dance. Born and raised in Jacksonville, she was a star in any room she entered. Her mother, Mary Huntley, fondly called her cheer bear, describing her as smart, talented, motivational, and inspiring. Charity not only excelled in singing and dancing, but also embraced modeling as her pleasure. Raised in a church, her soulful singing reflected her deep-rooted passion for music. I'm about to try to do this little freestyle, y'all. <laughs> so I ran into my ex-lover yesterday. He saw me from afar. I peeped him looking my way. I proceed to mind my business. Not gonna entertain him. And that nigga wasn't sh and nothing could contain him anyway. He approached me, saw the look upon my face, told me just to listen and not to say a thing. No, you're probably fed up. No, you deserve better. Baby, I've changed. Hope your number's still the same so you can send me your location later. Let's focus on communicating better. I feel like I deserve a second chance with you. Nah, I'm cool. Charity had big dreams, and she was working hard to make her dreams come true, but sadly her life would come to a sudden and heartbreaking end on April 6, 2023. On the morning on April 6 on a Thursday, George Sapp dropped off Charity's naked deceased body at the emergency room at Baptist Medical Center Beaches. Police were called to the emergency room around 10 in the morning, following the arrival of Charity's deceased body. The gruesome scene that greeted authorities at the hospital revealed the stark reality of Charity's passing. Authorities started an investigation into her death, and it led to the arrest of George Sapp. The investigation revealed that, that George had placed her body in the rear storage area of a Chevrolet Tahoe before rushing her to the emergency room. The police report painted a chilling picture. Charity was found nude, and the lifeless body showed signs of rigor mortis, indicating the grim circumstances surrounding her death. An autopsy later confirmed that Charity Lanique's death was the result of a drug overdose. She died of a deadly combination of drugs, including fentanyl, oxycodone, and ethanol. The revelation added a layer of tragedy, pointing to a fatal overdose as the cause of her untimely demise. In the subsequent police interviews, George Zapp provided an account of the events leading to Charity's death. According to George, their night together included a rendezvous at the beach and a boat outing. George claimed that Charity asked for pills, and he allegedly provided her with half of a Percocet. The details of the night became a crucial aspect of the investigation, with George mentioning laying out air mattresses in his garage and leaving to run an errand. The report, though redacted in parts, highlighted George's possession of Percocet and oxycodone when officers searched him. Video footage from the entrance points of the apartment complex where George lived became instrumental in reconstructing the timeline of events. The footage depicted Charity walking from her car to the boat, holding on to George's arm upon their return to the boat ramp. The gravity of the situation prompted the Jacksonville Beach Police to issue an arrest warrant for George Zapp on drug trafficking charges. 
The General Investigations Unit, acknowledging the risk factors involved, utilized the SWAT team for George's arrest, executing a vehicle takedown on Greens Way in Jacksonville Beach. Jacksonville Beach police arrested a man on drug charges, but they say their investigation began when a dead woman was dropped off at a hospital. Right now, George Sapp faces a drug possession charge. As detectives look into how Charity Huntley died, we first reported on her death in April. Police now say Sapp was the one who drove Huntley to the hospital. And a police report says Huntley died from drug intoxication and video shows Sapp with Huntley the day she was taken to the hospital. Sapp was arrested during a traffic stop today. And again, he has not been charged in her death. He was arrested on something separate on drug charges. George remained incarcerated at Duval County Jail on a $150,000 bond. This arrest brought to light a previous accusation against George in January 2019, where another woman filed for a restraining order against George for sexual violence. In January 2019 George was employed at Wacko's, a well-known strip club in Jacksonville. According to the petition, the woman informed the police that after completing her shift and waiting for a friend to assist with her car, George proposed they go to his house for a brief five-minute smoke break. While at the residence, the woman claimed that George began offering her Xanax. She pretended to ingest the pills but retained them in her hand, as outlined in the petition. Upon realizing she wasn't swallowing the pills, George allegedly resorted to physically placing them in her mouth with his hand. The woman recounted losing consciousness and later awakening at a motel, rather than George's residence. The petition detailed her state of undress when she regained consciousness. After dressing herself, she encountered a man in the hallway who observed her distress. He assisted her in charging her phone and calling the police from the front desk, according to the petition. George arrived at the motel while the woman was in conversation with law enforcement. Inquiring about the situation, he was met with her question, why did I wake up naked? As stated in the petition. George asserted that they had engaged in consensual intercourse, to which she expressed no recollection. The petition revealed that George proceeded to present officers with a video depicting their sexual encounter. The document stated, the officer told the woman that it appeared she was having fun during the video. George was not criminally charged in that case, and the petition was eventually listed as closed in Duval County court documents. Mary Huntley, Charity's mother, was devastated at the news of the passing of her daughter. At just 26 years old, Charity Huntley, also known as Charity Lanique, was the star in any room. She did dancing, she smashed it, she sung, she raised up in the church singing. And that was her passion, modeling. That was just her pleasure. But she rocked everything that she did. Mary Huntley says her bright star, who she called Cheer Bear, was found dead Thursday. She says nothing could have prepared her for the news. Her mother says police are investigating her daughter's death. I want them to remember her for who she was. Smart, talented, motivational, inspiring, a listener. On the day of her daughter's death, she hadn't heard from her daughter, prompting her to make a call. Regrettably, her daughter's phone repeatedly went to voicemail. By Thursday afternoon, around 1.30, Mary began to feel increasingly distressed, questioning why her daughter wasn't answering. Later on that Thursday, a detective contacted Mary with the devastating news. They had her baby since 9 in the morning. It was then that Mary was informed her daughter was no longer with them, and to learn that her daughter died of a drug overdose was even more shocking. Charity was a good young woman and was never known to do drugs. Mary's daughter was her best friend, and she could have never imagined losing her in such a tragic way. The circumstances surrounding Charity's death remain unclear and are still being investigated, adding to the grief that her family and loved ones are grappling with. Mary Huntley, in her anguish, decided to turn her grief into a positive force. She established the Charity of the Arts Foundation in remembrance of her daughter. The foundation aims to support local artists and companies, reflecting Charity's love for the arts. Mary expresses her desire to help upcoming artists with resources like referrals to experienced producers and photographers. The pain and injustice of losing Charity Lanique Linger, and her mother pleads for justice for her daughter. The circumstances leading to Charity's untimely death raise questions about prevention and the impact on the family and loved ones left behind. What happened to Charity Huntley was a tragedy. She was a beautiful talented young woman who had her entire life ahead of her. 
We may never know what really happened the day she died or what the nature of her relationship was with George, but we do know he was the last one to see her alive. My condolences to her friends and family and all of those who knew and loved her. May you continue to heal and one day find peace. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.